changing nozzle, tip, diffuser, and liner for MDX MIG guns. Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Turn off welding power source and disconnect the trigger control lead and power pin from the machine and cut the welding wire. Remove the AccuLock nozzle, contact tip, and gas diffuser from the neck of the gun. Loosen the set screw in cap and unthread the power pin cap from the rear of the gun, removing it from the power pin. Lay the gun out straight and remove the liner. Replace the MDX250 neck insulator if worn. Push the new liner into the gun neck until the brass liner lock bottoms on the neck face. To lock and center the liner, install and tighten the new gas diffuser with an appropriate wrench. Install the new contact tip and tighten with welding pliers. Install the new nozzle and ensure the neck insulator is installed properly. Before reinstalling the cap onto the gun, verify the cap is correctly sized to the liner. The inside of the cap contains a color-coded rubber washer corresponding with the text printed on the liner jacketing. For example, a cap with white washer is sized to fit a liner with white text. Check to ensure the cap's set screw is loosened enough and not protruding into the cap bore. If needed, loosen the set screw slightly. Next, slide the power pin cap over the liner and thread onto the power pin. Tighten until the cap bottoms on the power pin shoulder. Note, a wrench or welding pliers may be needed to assure a snug fit against the shoulder. Holding the provided hex wrench as shown here, tighten the set screw finger tight against the liner. Next, hold the hex wrench by the handle and tighten the set screw an additional one half turn to fully secure the liner. Caution, over tightening the set screw can crush the liner. Trim the liner flush to the power pin with a sharp set of side cutters. Insert a piece of appropriately sized welding wire into the liner to check for burrs or obstructions. For example, if running 035 wire, perform this check using 035 wire. This wire should fit into the liner and be able to move back and forth with no resistance. If a burr is detected at the entrance of the liner, remove cap and retrim the liner. If resistance is felt sliding the wire back and forth, loosen the set screw slightly until the wire slides freely. Plug the power pin back into the machine. Reconnect the control lead and feed the wire through the MDX mid gun.